gosh, congratulations. We are pleased to offer you admission to the University of San Francisco School of Law for the Fall 2021 full-time division. <sighs> channel my name is Alana Lisa if you're new here um, this is a video that I wanted to do for a good minute now um, I've just been so busy that I hadn't gone into it but I think it's exciting because I remember when I was applying and even at the beginning of the, of the semester thinking like wow I had no idea I would be spending like this much money or like buying this many things so I thought this would be an interesting video to make so let's get right to it. Also though, before we get started, PSA, like, I did not buy a lot of things actually. So this is also kind of like a, if you don't want to spend a lot of money or you're trying to not spend a lot of money or you don't have money <laughs> like me, um, you can definitely, you know, go to law school and start law school um, on a tighter budget than most. So yeah, let's get to it. So first off, I just miscellaneous office things, like a tape, you know, like that cost me like a dollar. Index cards. Um, um, I, I had some leftovers from undergrad, so I bought a new pack, but I definitely will be using them because I've already made flashcards for classes. So that's gonna be a must. Other random things like command hooks for the walls, things that are hanging and everything. Ooh, and then this is actually one of my most exciting buys. So I actually rented my textbooks. So what I got was clear sticky notes. Um, and so you put them in the book and then you write all this. And this has been like amazing. Um, I did like originally I saw it from somebody else on the in the like law Instagram community and I'll put her at here because she gives some amazing tips. Her sticky notes were actually, you know, bigger. I would just didn't check when I got them, so I got this size, but it doesn't matter, they still work, and I got them off Amazon, and they're just like, it's a huge pack. I've gone through one of these, and about to finish a second one, which is like a month in, so I guess I will be using a lot more of them, but there are, I think like, 20 of these. So we'll see how like how long they last me. But this was like ten bucks, I think. Um, so yeah. And then another thing that I got were like these expo markers for my calendar. But the actual calendar itself, I've had all four years of college, so did not buy that. Just needed new markers. Something I ended up buying were like tabs for um, the textbooks just to know like where there are practice problems that I want to look back to or where we are in the reading so that it's easier to get to the page um, when I'm in class. Again, I kind of overbought. I've only been using one strip so far and I saw these two. Other things that I bought, which I, you guys already know, were face masks and stuff, like a buck, three bucks. And so that's kind of what I spent money on. Something, one of the things that were kind of unexpected was a book stand. I don't know why it was unexpected. I guess you hear about it a lot. This one's actually in like, like a nicer one because it's like wooden. This was like 13 bucks on Amazon. I have a, I have another one in my locker at school that cost me like seven bucks. And that was like a metal one. Um, so that's why I leave it in my locker. It's just like so I don't have to be carrying around a book stand whenever I read. Um, and then I also just want to show you guys the books. Like this is... Um, a book I used for my writing class. I'm pretty sure everybody uses this and I like I will continue to use this after this class is over and this was like 50 bucks. So definitely something to keep in mind. And then my contracts book. I actually ended up buying this one um, because the renting wasn't an option. It cost me like 200 bucks. So yikes. And then this was rented and it cost me like 200 something bucks. And um, my Civ Pro book, and it's a bullet in my locker. 
And I think those were also like $300. Um, yeah, and then like another thing, again, I think I, I mentioned when I was, I think in my moving vlog, I mentioned some things that I was buying. But I ended up just needing one notebook. So, um, you know, that was like a dollar. <laughs> so I really didn't spend too much. Um, I did buy a new, uh, like a planner. And this was like 12 bucks at Target. Um, I go cheap because <laughs> I ain't trying to spend money. Um, I also bought a stapler and like a stapler remover that's in my locker. And that was like 15 bucks at Target. I bought... Um, Oh, I am sharing a Quimby subscription with a friend from law school, so we're splitting it. So like, we're each paying eleven bucks. It would be twenty-two bucks, like the medium um, subscription that they offer. And I don't use it that often. I, in fact, like when I read, I only um, when I read it, like I read it raw. Is how I've been thinking it. I just go in, um, do the reading, do the brief. And then after, if I feel completely lost, I'll like look at Quimby. But before I even look at Quimby, like I text my fellow classmates and be like, would they, like, would you all get for the issue or whatever? So I don't use it too much, which is why I decided to split it and then we'll see how that goes. And then I did want to talk about my backpack because I know people always buy like fancy backpacks. Um, so I've had this for the last two years of undergrad, so this is third year. I got it at Target. It was like 40 bucks, which I thought was pretty expensive, but I hear other backpacks go for way more. So again, I'm trying to do law school on a budget. Um, and those are like literally all the items I like bought because bed thing, you know, other household items I already had. I didn't like, you know, buying cleaning supplies, which was in my mind wasn't like a little bit like, unexpected, but you know, it goes with moving to a city and everything. That's kind of like the things I bought. And like, this is the total amount of money that I spent. Um, I link some of the, my, like the stuff that I got on Amazon and stuff on, in my description box. But yeah, hopefully this is just helpful for you all who are applying or getting ready to start law school. Because like, I mean, these things definitely added up because I bought a lot of these things within like the first week or two that I moved and so it felt like a lot of spending so for sure like just wanted to share so that you guys can kind of be aware that this is gonna happen I'm trying to remember like what else I may have bought but that's pretty much it I'm sure things will come and go but yeah anyways I hope this was helpful let me know if you have any questions about things I didn't buy or like, oh, I almost forgot. And I forgot because I don't use them. So this is going to be a controversial opinion, but I bought like a pack of highlighters and I do not use highlighters. Being, I don't know, it, to my mind, I guess it doesn't make sense. So I bought a pack of highlighters and I don't use them, which I know everybody is to die for. And I bought them because everybody said buy these, right? So if you never used highlighters, you might not need to buy highlighters for no reason. These cost like 10 bucks and like 10 bucks I'm not getting back. I also bought white out at like the suggestion of other previous law students. I've only used it once. Um, I do write with pen, but I haven't used it. This also cost me like 10 bucks because white out can be expensive at Target. Um, now that is actually it. I did not buy new pens. I did not buy new pencils. I have a bunch left over from like my undergrad time. Um, so yeah, now that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions and check out the description box if you're curious. Um, and then I did see somebody's comment about wanting to know what tools I used for the LSAT. So that video will be coming soon, as long as the video that I've said about me breaking down how I'm reading and briefing for class. So keep an eye out for new videos to come. Thanks for watching.